Uh, you argue that protectionism is is not a good thing um, for, for industries. Uh, but let's look at the China-South Africa relationship right now and, and let's get your view on it, uh, whether it has been a good or bad thing for the country. Well, let's understand firstly that getting cheap products is a good thing for any country. And that's why our trade with China has risen much more than anywhere else. It's now our single biggest trading partner. And the trade balance, that is to say how much China imports from South Africa, uh, and exports to South Africa has been narrowing and is now pretty close to zero. In other words, they buy as much as they sell. Not that that really matters. Uh, people tend to forget the only reason you ever export anything is in order, in order to be able to import. Uh, so when you export something, you do so in order to earn money with which to go and buy things elsewhere in the world. And then you don't really care where you buy them. You just want to buy them from the best supplier. If that happens to be China, so be it. The concern, of course, is that if uh, Chinese products are too cheap for South Africans to compete, we must understand that that's only true in some sectors. In other words, we can't buy anything from China until we have successfully competed internationally and exported. Uh, so that our imports are simply a reward for having exported. Mm -hmm. And uh, so China is firstly buying more and more. It imports more from Africa and increasingly from South Africa than it exports to Africa. But as I say, that shouldn't really matter. What matters is whether you buy cheap and valuable products around the world. Our industries and workers who do suffer, we need to be uh, concerned about. Uh, firstly, if they have been protected in the past by the South African government, uh, then it owes them at the very least a subsidy or a phasing out period. Uh, and uh, we shouldn't have protectionism anyway because that really makes the poor pay, uh, whereas if it comes out of general revenue, taxpayers pay. Uh, both are in the long term a bad idea, but we shouldn't actually impose the cost of protecting business people on the poor who import things from China, that so is a direct saying, subsidy of the rich by the poor. So you're basically saying how these kind of tax subsidies are, are you know, imposed, I mean, who pays for them ultimately? Um, in South Africa, what is the, the structure of, of, you know, subsidies that are already in place? Well, at the moment, what we have is protection. That is to say that the people who buy the products, the consumers, which in the case of Chinese clothing, for example, is the poorest of the poor South Africans, they're the ones who pay. Uh, what we should have is that if the government wants to subsidize manufacturing of something that competes with the Chinese import, it must do so. It shouldn't make the poor do so. It must do so out of general revenue, then we know the cost. And it should also have a long-term policy that has in mind that we do only what we're good at and stop doing what we're bad at. Sadly, the policy is actually the other, other way around, called beneficiation, which is another word for saying we want to do more of what we're bad at and less of what we're good at. We should concentrate on what we're good at, what we can export, export that, whether it's minerals or wine or farm products or whatever it might be, steel, whatever it might be, and import what we're not competitive at. That is what everyone does in their private life. It's what every city does and every province does and every country should do. There is certainly a rise in protectionism. You're, you're feeling a sense of that. You're starting to see that across the globe, people wanting to protect their own industries. Um, but in South Africa, and when it comes to those quota levels, do you think that those work? And how do they reach those levels? Well, let's firstly be clear. They're not protecting their own interest industries. They're harming their industries which export. You must understand that the exporters are being denied the opportunity to sell the foreign exchange they earn in which, with which to buy things. So you don't harm local industries. You don't benefit local industries by protecting. You harm them. You harm the ones that are good, mm -hmm. competitive. So that's the first thing to understand. But it is true that around the world, in response, not around the world, that's an exaggeration, in countries with a financial crisis, it's a small percentage of the world's countries. Most African countries, for example, are growing at uh, record rates. So those countries with a financial crisis, a small proportion of them, Southern Europe, the United States, one or two others, yeah. those are the ones that are resorting to protectionism, which is a bad response to a problem they shouldn't have created in the first place.